I know what you're thinking. Should I buy a dual sport, a road bike, a dirt bike, a scooter? <laughs> These decisions can be tricky for sure, and many would say there is no perfect bike. I'd have to agree. And anyone with even a vague interest in motorcycles knows that there are bikes for all sorts of roads, climates, conditions and people. I must admit the feeling of getting out in the late afternoon and zipping up through the twisties in your local hills or mountain range is absolutely exhilarating and so a road bike would be sensational for that superb grip, oodles of power and absolute coolness. But that's not for everyone. I guess I want a bit of everything from my bike, the ability to ride on the tarmac even if it's for relatively short distances and then on occasions just like this, click on the indicator and get the flock out of here. And that's where a dual sport comes in. Of course I'm talking about things like this DRZ400 that can cruise on the road for reasonable periods of time before your butt goes numb. And then when from the corner of your eye you spy a sneaky little track off to the side of the road, head bush and enjoy a pretty capable machine on single tracks, double track and even some fairly gnarly stuff. That's what I'm doing today. Not, not the gnarly stuff, I'm far too unskilled for that, but just a bit of forest trails with a couple of interesting stops along the way. While I'm here I want to show you the old Atherton Herberton railway line. It was completed in 1910, initially to service the tin mines in the district. Sadly, it was closed down in 1990 when, well, road freight had well and truly taken over and the maintenance costs were said to be too high for the rail. Thank goodness there's a dedicated team in nearby Herberton, a little town up the road here, that, that maintain a small section of track and, and they restore the old trains and carriages. Now I want to show you a little place where you can stop for coffee. Not too many people know about it and fewer ever bother to leave the towns and cities to enjoy a nice hot cuppa as the sun begins to set. It's a bit of a ride and it's been fairly wet lately. Here in North Queensland we have a distinct wet season and this year was fairly typical. Plenty of rain and usually a few cyclones. I guess uh, you guys in the States call them hurricanes. This year we haven't yet seen a serious cyclone, but it's March now and there's still a chance of one forming before the season comes to an end. So yeah, there's a bit of water and mud on the track, but it's nothing serious. Even an old fart like me can stay upright, mostly. And here we have it, that little coffee spot that I was telling you about. Yeah, nah, it's strictly BYO coffee up here, and you usually have the place to yourself. Sometimes you'll run into a couple of crazy bike riders or a four-wheel driver, 
month or two, mostly they're out here doing what you're doing, enjoying a bit of our beautiful country. So I guess that's why I, I love my dual sport. I can zip into town and pick up something from the hardware shop, or I can take the road, or the track less travelled, and explore any of the hundreds of tracks around North Queensland and beyond. Sure, I, I'd love to have a road bike, or a cruiser, or even a larger adventure bike sometimes, but for now, for today, this DRZ is DRZ as we call it down here. <laughs> These tracks, this countryside, man, this is the life. Hey, thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Cheers, guys.